Okay, everybody, I hope you're buckled in because we're playing Fishing Resort on the Nintendo Wii. I'm Mr. Mark, and I'm calling this episode 4, or part 4, of the Beginner's Guide. I'm doing a little Beginner's Guide on how to get the best rod and reel. And because that's probably the question I get asked the most about this game is like which is the best rod and reel to get and uh, most people would agree that the Titan and the Infinity are like the best um, rod and reel for the large size fish and uh, you have to complete all the quests to get that but in order to complete all the quests you're going to want pretty much the next best rod and reel combination, which is the Lunker Keeper and the Storm Killer. And so that's what we're trying to do. I'm trying to save up enough money to show you guys the Storm Killer and the Lunker Keeper. And also the heroic rod. There's one going for it. A big red stingray. Let's see if it'll bite. There we go. Woo, yeah. This is what we're here for. The red stingray. Because they're worth a lot of points. Early on in the game. They're one of the first big fish you can catch in the game. And uh, just to recap, if you missed the first three parts of this little quest here, um, what we did was we bought the cheap large size gear. I think it's called the Hunter Reel, and I forget what the rod is, but it's the, the first cheap one you can buy that's the large size gear. And we just had to buy that pretty much in order to catch these large size fish. And we're using the quick hitter, um, the quick hitter large. Actually, I think I might have to go buy some more bait soon because I think we're almost out. There you go. Nice red stingray to start with six feet long that's a big fish in anyone's book I'd say there's one right there up close see if it'll bite that close sometimes they don't like to bite too close but ooh, there it looks like it's going for it oh it disappeared yeah, it might be too close. Sometimes if you're too close, they won't bite. Like how I'm I'm at nine feet right now. Um, oh, there's another one going for it though. Sometimes if you're like less than ten feet out, they don't like to bite. Let's see if that one bites or not. There we go, okay. Oh yeah, great. Now the red stingray on the quick hitter large. Ooh, gotta be careful. It's easy to break them off on this gear. That's why we're trying to buy the good tackle. Because when you get that good tackle, everything becomes easier. It's much easier to reel these fish in. It's much easier to do everything to catch all the fish once you have the good tackle. So we're just trying to rack up points. We're not too far away now. I think we need about 
40,000 or maybe 60,000 points to buy everything. Ooh, a rank up again. Rookie rank one. Running low on bait. I wonder how many I have. I'll just keep going until I run out and then, and then we'll go buy some more. Doesn't surprise me that we're running low because I only bought, I think, 10 of them. 10 or 15 of them. There's one going for it. Oh, yeah. Good. Now, uh, when you get a bite, whoa, careful. I want to break them off. But when you get a bite, you know, you got to be paying attention. And you actually have to set the hook by pulling back on the Wiimote, just like you would in real life by setting the hook on a real life fishing rod. You gotta like pull back on it a little bit. And um, you know, when you see me do it, it might look easy because like so far I haven't missed a bite, but if you're a beginner, you might have a little trouble getting that hook set every time. And it'll, it just takes some practice. But I will say that uh, it might look easy when I'm doing it because I haven't missed any fish yet. But you can miss fish. And you don't really want to miss the bite because if you miss the bite, uh, then the fish will go away usually and, and it'll take a while to come back. So, okay, I ran out, it says, so I gotta go buy some more so we can go catch some more big fish. So I'll go over to the tackle shop, warp over there. Just go buy a bunch of quick hitter. And that's a little tip for you if you're just new to this game. The quick hitter is pretty much the best bait. And we'll buy, say, 20 of them, or 15 or 20 of them. That should be plenty enough to catch enough fish to have enough money. Okay, so I'll buy those. And while we're here, I'll go ahead and buy this reel, because this is what we're really here for, this Lunker Keeper. In my opinion, it's the best reel in the game because it catches all the fish the small medium and the large and it's a three star reel and like once you have this reel you don't even need the elephant or any of these other reels here so i'm going to go straight ahead and buy this lunker keeper it says i don't have anything compatible but i'm going to go ahead um, I'm at 29,000. Can I buy a rod? I, I don't think so, actually. Let me see, just see if I can buy a... No. I don't have enough points yet. But I can buy the reel, so... So I'm going to buy that Lunker Keeper. Just while I'm here, that'll help me to see how many points I need. And it says it wasn't compatible, so I, I don't think I can pair that with the rod I have. No. Oops. Oops, did I, I think I bought the wrong size bait. That's what I did. <laughs> Oops, no, don't buy that. I think I bought the wrong size bait. Hang on, guys. Yeah, I want the large. I think I bought a bunch of regular. That's okay, I'll use it later, but I need the large right now. Yeah. That's probably going to take most of my points, but that's okay. 
Yep. <laughs> we'll rank up soon and and uh, let me just see something else over here. Oh, good. I can use that. Yeah, so now we should be able to do much better with this. Now that we got the Lunky Keeper on. I did that kind of fast, so I don't know if you saw that, but I'm I'm using the Lunker Keeper now. Maybe I'll just show you again real quick. Just so you really know. I'll use this hamstring, and there's the Lunker Keeper. That's the best reel. The best reel. So I'll get that one. Well, besides the... Um, Infinity and the Titan. This is the next best, actually. But if you're not counting the Titan and Infinity, then this is the best. So let's go test it on some Red Stingray, see if it makes a difference. It might not make too much of a difference yet because we don't have the good rod to match it with. We're still using the cheap rod. But maybe we'll notice a little bit of a difference. Just got to find some red stingray here. Keep your eye out. There's one. Okay, let's test out this new Lunker Keeper. I want to see the difference. There's a big red stingray right there. Hope, hopefully it goes for it. Okay, it looks like it's going for it. Okay, now this is exciting. We're going to get to try the new reel here. Yeah, okay. Yeah, let's see. Now, yeah, look. It's a little bit easier already. It's not wanting to break off quite as easily. Yeah, so this makes a difference. It might, um, might actually get them in a little quicker too. We'll see. I don't want to try and go too fast and and break off or anything. Trying to catch a bunch of these red stingrays. Ooh. Yeah, this thing definitely gets them in quicker just with the new Lunker Keeper. That's what I really wanted to show you. So we're doing good. We're like halfway there. We just got to buy the rod. But we got the reel already. So we'll just catch a few fish. It shouldn't take too long. Maybe another day of in-game fishing. There's one going for it. Good. Great. It doesn't take long to get a hit with that quick hitter. And this Lunker Keeper has definitely made it a little bit easier already. And watch, when we get the rod, it's going to make a big difference. You'll see. It might be a little bit difficult for you to see because it's even a little bit difficult for me to see. But you have this fishing meter thing that... See, like right now it's going a little bit red because I'm reeling a little bit too much. And that fishing meter tells you like how much pressure you can put on the fish. And uh, just since I've got the Lunker Keeper, the meter's length has increased. 
if that makes sense. It's um, so it's actually given me more room to play with. Like there's more room on the meter to go red before the line will break, if that makes sense. And you'll see, hopefully you'll see when I get the, the right rod that, um, there's one. What it does is it makes the meter like as big as it could possibly go. And then you have a lot of, um, room to play with the fish, let's say, or like, you can put a lot of stress on the line before the line will break. Because the, the oh, there's a big one there. Oh yeah, fish on. Big red stingray. See, like right now, I could probably take the red. If, if you see like the line of the horizon, I could probably take the red down to like where it touches the, the water of the, see like right to about there before the line would snap. But when you get the, the best rod and reel, well, we already have the reel, but, um, when you get the combo with the best rod, you can take the red all the way down to the opposite end of of the top, or like um, to the to the south end of the compass, or six o'clock on the clock, whatever you want to describe it as. You'll be able to have a full range of room to play with the tension on the line. I'm probably making it sound complicated, but it's not really. Just basically, you want to get the good rod and reel combo. That's all I'm trying to say, basically. There's another red stingray right there. Hopefully it'll go for it. It's right there, hopefully. Okay, good, it's going for it. Because we just got to catch a few more of these things. And Oh yeah, okay. We'll have enough money to buy that rod, and then... Uh, we may buy, actually there's two rods that we want to get still. So who knows, we may go into a five part mini series with this. Five parts, six parts. We'll see. <laughs> we'll only know when we're done, I guess. There we go. Definitely easier to get them in already just with the Lunker Keeper. See, we've already caught a couple here in what seems like it, it would just take the time to catch one with that first cheap reel that we had. You know, it's kind of the same in real life. If you get a, get a cheap reel, oh, there's one. You know, like like they say, you get what you pay for. The cheap stuff just doesn't work as good, usually. And especially when it comes to fishing gear, like... I'm, you know... Usually when, when you spend good money on, like, a fishing reel, it's because it's worth it. Not always, I mean, you... 
you could definitely throw money away and and buy like a really expensive overpriced reel for sure but but you know what I mean generally if you invest in a in a higher quality reel it's going to be worth it Rank up, amateur rank 10. Okay, that's good. I think that uh, might mean that we can catch the shark now. I just want to check something. Because now that we're an amateur, I wonder if this guy... I think we talked to him already, but um, I want to catch the shark. He says, I saw a shark. Let's go look for the shark again. Because they're worth more points. If we could catch a couple of those, we could really speed this up a little bit. Now that we have the lunker keeper and we're an amateur, maybe they'll show up for us. Because usually they're over here in, at Feast Cove. The sharks. Are there any out there? I don't see them. Usually you see them right away. So, I don't know. Maybe it has something to do with uh, rank. I'm thinking like you have to get to a certain rank before you can catch them. Or let me, the day's about to end, but I'll try a cast. We'll just give it like a minute, maybe a minute or two, and then the day's about to end. It's gonna tell us to go back to the hotel anyway. Who knows? Maybe we'll get a shark though. They're out here. I know they're here. Maybe the game wants me to get the better rod first. See, because usually if, if there's a fish there, it'll bite before this long. So if it takes this long, usually means you're not going to catch anything. So I'm going to go ahead and reel in and uh, we'll probably go back to the hotel. Yeah, it says it wants us to go back to the hotel. So we'll go change our fish in and start a new day. And we might have time to buy the next rod here. Change our fish in here. A bunch of red stingrays. About a thousand or almost two thousand points each, so they add up quick. How many did we catch? Five or six of them. Ooh, ten thousand points worth. Okay, so one more day of that, and we should, or one or two more days of that, and we should have all the tackle. And I don't know why the shark just hasn't shown up. I wonder if it's one of the password fish. You know, uh, if, if you've looked online about this game, you can find that there are password fish. And... 
you're going to want to unlock all those password fish because they're all cool and a lot of them are big. And so just go online and and uh, look for the password fish. And I wonder if the shark is one of the password fish, actually. That's why we can't see it right now. That would make sense if I just haven't unlocked it yet because it's a password fish. Some people have said online, I've, I've seen some people talking about... Um, how you how maybe you shouldn't unlock the password fish if if you don't want to catch them because they might potentially make the other fish harder to catch but i didn't find that i i unlocked all the password fish myself there's one and uh i i still had no problem catching all the other fish in the game so if you want to unlock the password fish, I'd say go ahead and do it. Because I didn't have any problem myself. I mean, there might have been some times where I caught a bunch of... Uh, like I remember, I think the sailfish is one of the password fish. Maybe the sailfish. And uh, like I caught a, quite a few of those and... You know, so maybe like I ended up catching more of them, but I didn't mind. I just went ahead and unlocked all the password fish right away. And I'm wondering if that shark isn't one of the password fish, too. You guys who have played this game know what I'm talking about. There's a certain shark that lives close by here that we just haven't been able to see yet so we're, we're going to stick with these red st stingrays here because they're worth a lot of points too there we go it's either a password fish I'm still thinking about the shark. I, I think it's either a, a password fish or it has something to do with ranking up. I don't know. Or maybe I'm just doing it wrong. This is pretty much what I did the first time I played the game. I spent a couple days just catching the red stingray and the shark. Just saving up money before I even really tried to do anything else because I just wanted to like save up some money and buy all the good gear. B rank one. Just keep looking for some more of them. There's one. I like to try to get it as close to them as I can. Because that just makes everything quicker, usually. There's one. Got him on. Got to have a good eye for that uh, hook set. Or a good ear. You can listen for it, too. But you want to be paying attention when, when they bite. And you see that bobber move? You want to set the hook with the Wiimote right away because you don't want to miss those bites. The more bites you miss, just 
the more time spent not catching fish. But hey, you know, it, you don't always have to catch fish. That's part of the fun of it. Okay. I'm going to stop it right here. And you guys tune in for the next episode. Because we're not far now from being able to buy all the best tackle. And that's really what I've been trying to do this whole time is just save up the money and buy that tackle. So uh, I'm going to stop it here, and I'll catch you guys on the next episode.